The FHFA announced that they were considering lowering the loan limits for Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. Just for a little bit of background, the current loan limits for Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae range from 417000 up to six twenty five five. Depending on median, local area median home price, it's a percentage, 115% of your local area median home price. But they've now indicated that they intend to lower those loan limits. Now, the reason why they're doing this is to encourage more private capital participation in the mortgage market. Now, NAR is, is supportive of that effort, uh, but right now makes it a little bit difficult because we're unsure of how much the private market will actually participate. So on September 17th, NAR sent a letter to Acting Director Ed DeMarco questioning whether or not FHFA actually had the authority to lower the loan limits without congressional approval. And further, suggesting that doing so would be harmful to the mortgage market. Right now, if we were to raise G fees or the guarantee fees that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac charge and lower loan limits just to encourage this private capital participation without knowing whether or not you know, private market would actually participate, that risks uh, stunting the ongoing recovery in the housing market. I mean, and this is why, uh, you know, Congress actually got involved as well. That's right. So Congress, when they set the loan limits, actually had very specific language about what the limit should be set at. That 417 number and the 625 five ceiling, those are very specific numbers in legislation. And there was actually language that talked about how those num numbers could be changed. And so we got a number of members of the House of Representatives, 66 bipartisan members of the House of Representatives, championed by Gary Miller, a Republican from California, Cal Maloney, Democrat from New York, and Brad Sherman, a Democrat from California. They put together a letter that 63 other members of the House signed that specifically pointed to this legislative language that gives Congress the authority to set the loan limits. And also found some um, instances where Acting Director DeMarco himself had testified before Congress that Congress should be the one to set the limits and not um, not an administrative body like the FHFA. We also had 13 bipartisan senators send a letter to FHFA. They were led by Senator Menendez, from, a Democrat from New Jersey, and Isaacson, a Republican from Georgia. They wrote a letter saying that they think that DeMarco should defer to Congress and that this is certainly not the right time to increase the loan limits. With so many other things going on, with so much uncertainty in mortgage markets, decreasing the loan limits would not be a good step. And our president, Gary Thomas, went to a meeting at FHFA with Acting Director DeMarco. Yeah, and in that meeting, um, President Thomas reiterated that now is not the time, right time to lower the loan limits. There's still a lot of flux in the mortgage market. Um, and from that, uh, it still sounds like FHFA is going to reduce the loan limits. They believe that under their conservatorship powers, they have the ability to do so. However, if there's one thing to look forward to is that this isn't going to happen January 1st as it normally does. I actually think coming out of that meeting that the implementation of these lower limits will be delayed into the middle of next year and we'll continue to work with Congress and with FHFA Director DeMarco to look at what's happening in the mortgage market and see if private capital will actually have the capability to um, serve private market participants, or to serve borrowers should the loan limits come down. Absolutely. And it's good to know that this only relates to the Freddie and Fannie limits. The FHA limits will not be impacted by whatever Acting Director DeMarco does. Now the FHA limits are going down at the end of the year, but only on the high end from 729 to 6255 and the limits will go from 125% to 115% of local area median. FHFA will public, FHA, I'm sorry, will publish those in November, and we'll, so we'll know what the loan limits are. They should be roughly the same as what the Freddie and Fannie limits are today, so that shouldn't be a big surprise. But FHA won't be, whatever um, Acting Director Marco does, that shouldn't impact the FHA loan limits. 